Ever pondered about what goes on behind the scenes of your favorite video game? The realm of game development is a fascinating blend of creativity and complexity. It's a world where artistry and algorithms intertwine, where innovative ideas take on tangible forms. It might seem like an enigma, but with the right approach anyone can learn the ropes. It's about harnessing the right resources, cultivating perseverance, and nurturing a passion for exploration. Let's unravel the mystery of game development, shall we? Game development is a fusion of art, science, creativity, and technology. This unique blend gives life to the virtual worlds we love to explore, the characters we grow attached to, and the stories that keep us glued to our screens until the wee hours of the morning. So what exactly is game development? It's the process of creating a video game, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. It involves a symphony of different elements all working together to create an engaging and immersive experience. First, there's game design. This is where the foundation of the game is laid out. Designers brainstorm and conceptualize the game's mechanics, the rules, the story, the setting, and the characters. They sketch out the journey that players will embark on, ensuring it's challenging, engaging, and fun. Next up, we have programming. This is where the game design is brought to life. Programmers write code to create the game's engine, which is essentially the software that powers the game. They make sure that when you press a button, the character jumps, or when you swipe the screen, a sword swings. Then there's the art. This component breathes life into the game visually. Artists create the game's visual elements, from characters and environments to user interfaces and logos. They ensure that the game isn't just fun to play, but also a feast for the eyes. Let's not forget about the sound. It's the unsung hero of game development. Sound designers create the game's music, sound effects, and voiceovers. They ensure that the game sounds as good as it looks, adding another layer of immersion. Each of these components plays a crucial role in the game development process. They're like the ingredients in a recipe. You can't make a great cake without eggs, flour, sugar, and butter. Similarly, you can't make a great game without design, programming, art, and sound. Now that we know what game development entails, it's time to delve into the process. Every successful game starts with a solid plan. Indeed, the pre-production phase is the foundation of any game development project. It's the stage where creativity meets strategy, where your ideas take shape and form in the virtual world. Think of pre-production as the brainstorming phase. It's where you let your imagination run wild, researching ideas, exploring different concepts, and finding inspiration from various sources. But it's not just about dreaming big, it's also about being practical and realistic, understanding the constraints of technology, budget, and time. And then comes the game design document, the blueprint of your game. It's a comprehensive guide that details everything about your game, from its mechanics and storyline to its characters and environment. It's the roadmap that will guide your team throughout the game development process. Planning out the game in detail is equally crucial. It involves breaking down the project into manageable tasks, setting milestones, and establishing deadlines. With a robust plan in place, we can move on to the fun part, creating the game. The production phase is where your game starts to come to life. Imagine yourself as a chef and your game as a dish you're about to serve. The production phase is the time when you're in the kitchen, chopping, mixing, and cooking all your ingredients to create that perfect meal, just like a dish. A game during this phase is a blend of various elements, each crafted meticulously to form a harmonious whole. Assets are the first ingredients you'll need. These are the graphical elements, the models, the animations, everything that gives your game its visual appeal. Creating assets is like preparing the ingredients for your dish. It's tedious, it requires precision, but it's also incredibly important. A well-crafted asset can turn a good game into a great one, just like how the right ingredient can elevate a dish from ordinary to extraordinary. Next, we have the code. This is the logic, the rules, the mechanics of your game. Writing code is akin to following a recipe. You're setting the instructions, the steps that need to be followed for the game to function as intended. It's the backbone of your game, the structure that holds everything together. Without code, your game is just a collection of assets, just as a dish without a recipe is just a pile of ingredients. Then come the features. These are the spices, the flavors that make your game unique. They could be innovative mechanics, engaging storylines, or unique gameplay elements. Implementing features is like adding seasonings to your dish. They add depth, complexity, and make your game stand out from the rest. As you blend these elements together, your game starts to take shape. It moves from a concept, an idea, to something tangible, 
something that can be played and enjoyed. It's a complex process, one that requires skill, creativity, and a lot of hard work. But seeing your game come to life, seeing it transform from a simple idea into a playable entity, is a feeling like no other. With the game's core elements in place, it's time to polish and refine. Post-production is all about refinement and perfection. It's the phase where the magic truly happens, where all the disparate elements come together to form a cohesive whole. It's like putting the final touches on a masterpiece painting. Now you may have a playable game at this point but the work is far from over. It's time for testing, debugging, and refinement. You see even the most meticulously planned game will have its fair share of bugs. These can range from minor glitches that mar the gaming experience to major issues that can bring gameplay to a grinding halt. That's where testing comes in. We play the game over and over again, looking for these bugs. Once found, it's time for debugging. The process of identifying what's causing these issues and fixing them. It might be a bit of faulty code, an unforeseen player action, or an unexpected combination of in-game elements. But post-production isn't just about fixing what's broken, it's also about polishing what's already there. This is where feedback becomes crucial. We listen to what our testers have to say, what they liked and what they didn't. We iterate on their feedback, tweaking game mechanics, adjusting difficulty levels, refining graphics, and enhancing sound design to ensure an immersive and enjoyable gaming experience. Now, after countless hours of testing, debugging, refining and iterating, we finally have a game that's ready. It's polished, it's refined, and it's everything we envisioned it to be. Now that the game is polished and refined, it's time to share it with the world. Releasing your game is just the beginning. It's a milestone, yes, but it also signals the start of a new journey. You're not just launching a game, you're launching a commitment to your players. The release phase is vital. It involves marketing, distribution, and post-release support. Strategic marketing helps your game reach its target audience. Choosing the right distribution platforms ensures your game is accessible to your potential players. Then comes post-release support. This is where you show your commitment to your players. You'll need to address bugs, provide updates, and continually improve your game based on feedback. Remember, your players are your best critics. Crucially, you should engage with your community, connect with them, listen to their feedback, make them feel heard. Your game is not just a product, it's an experience, a journey you and your players embark on together. Never forget, game development is a journey, not a destination. So, are you ready to embark on your game development journey? We've traversed the landscape of game development together, uncovering its enigmas and breaking down its complexities into manageable steps. From the outset, we've understood the importance of a firm grasp on the basics, the foundation on which all game development is built. These basics are the bedrock that ensures your game can stand tall, irrespective of the genre or platform you're targeting. Then we ventured into the realm of pre-production, the first of our four major steps. It's here we learned the importance of planning and conceptualizing our game. We discovered how setting clear, achievable goals and drafting detailed design documents can make the difference between a successful game and one that fails to capture the player's imagination. Next, we moved into the production phase, the heart of game development. This is where our ideas took shape, where we transformed our concepts into a tangible, playable game. We understood that this phase involves numerous iterations, testing and refining our game until it is just right. We also learned that it requires a diverse set of skills, from coding to artistry, sound design to storytelling. Then we entered the post-production phase where our game underwent final testing and polishing. We learned how crucial this step is to ensure we deliver a quality product to our players. We also saw how this phase involves marketing and promoting our game to get it into the hands of eager gamers. Finally, we learned about the release and what lies beyond. We discussed the exhilaration of launching our game and the importance of post-launch support, updates and community engagement. Now it's your turn to take these insights and begin your own game development journey. Whether it's a simple mobile game or a complex console RPG, each journey begins with a single step. So take that step. Experiment. Learn from your mistakes. Keep refining and improving. Remember, the only limit in game development is your imagination. So go ahead, start creating.